morning. I'm Jack. And I'm Eddie. Today is January 10th, and it is a day three. Although we are only 10 days into 2020, there is a ton of news-related things that are already happening. One of the big changes that is going to affect all of us is the new ban on single use of plastic bags that is set to begin in March. And to prepare, big stores like Wegmans are already setting to prepare for it. However, before we get started into that, what are our top stories this Friday, Bennett? The MacDale Air Force Base, which is located near Tampa, Florida, has been placed under lockdown after reports of an active shooter on the base, according to a U.S. Special Operations Command spokesman. According to spokesman Philip Chitty, Commands on the base have been advised that this is not a drill, and further details have not yet been reported. Effective on January 27th, Wegmans will no longer be selling plastic bags in all of New York. They will shift to using paper bags, and customers will be charged a five-cent fee for each bag. This will affect customers and the workers there as well. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, make sure you check your senior quote in room D14 before Friday, January 17th. If you don't verify your quote, it won't be printed in the yearbook. See Mr. Stalek for any questions. There will be a Foreign Language Honor Society meeting on Tuesday, January 14th at 8.15 and again on Wednesday, January 15th at 3.30 in room B6. Attendance is only required at one of the meetings. Please see Mrs. Rivers if you have any questions. So many people are very happy that New York is joining states like California, but the real question is, how will this affect normal life? Many people use grocery bags as, as their smaller trash bags each week. So what are people going to use instead? Well, they're probably going to have to go out and buy them. Like, you know, the <laughs> nice ones that you use. Instead of using the Wegmans bags, they're going to have to go out and buy them. Now, not only will Wegmans be getting rid of the use of plastic bags in their stores, but every grocery store, pharmacy, and, re and restaurant are also using the banning the use of plastic. While it is obnoxious how this might immediately affect shoppers, we asked Wegmans employees on how getting rid of plastic bags will affect how they work and how they perceive how customers will shop. Bella, didn't you work at a grocery store, too? I don't know. I think I know it makes things easier when you're bagging groceries, but also I know that it's better for the environment, so I think, you know, people are just going to have to get used to it. California did it. Today has a high of 46 degrees and a low of 33 seconds. But though that sounds nicer than it has been for the past couple of days, with the frigid weather ending comes the rain. Today we'll have scattered showers all throughout the day, melting the snow and giving us those nice brown patches of snow that we're used to here in Syracuse. Tomorrow and Sunday will be the two warmest days of the week, staying in the low to mid 50s, but again with rain and cloud coverage. Monday will start next week by dipping back down to the low 40s and mid 30s. As the week goes on, temperatures will continue to drop. I'm Bella with your weather. Wegmans and do it. Do you think that for five cents, do you think it'll be worth it to get that, or do you think it'd be better to just get a reusable bag? I think it'd be a lot better to get a reusable bag because you buy that once and you don't have to keep buying it. And then I feel like a lot of people with paper bags will probably not want to use as many, and that will lead to a lot of bag stripping probably. Does it hold up the lines, or what does it do? Uh, it doesn't really hold up the lines or anything. It actually makes it go kind of faster because. You have a lot of structure in the bag and you can put more items in it since it won't, you know, rip and fall apart like a plastic bag. So that way you're not constantly taking the bag off and putting it on the back shelf. As an employee, I think it's really good for the customers to adjust and like bring the bags when they actually come grocery shopping. And I think it's great for the environment. 
I personally don't have a problem with it because I prefer to bag them in the actual reusable bags. And I think that it's just great. To be more specific on how they want their stuff packed with the reusable bags. So it's going to be a little bit of an adjustment. And it's definitely going to slow things down a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. team took a tough loss against RFA last night. The both other bowling teams took tough losses last night to Central Square. Tyler Tylerico led the team with a 637 series. Russell Westbrook made his trip back to OKC last night for the first time since being traded. Westbrook had been with the Thunder for 11 years up until this year. OKC ended up winning the game, but Westbrook had 34 points in the return. In upcoming games, the girls volleyball team plays at home against Cortland and the both basketball teams play at JD for the Hoops for, for Courage game. Girls play at 5.30 and the boys play at 7. It is a blackout. Go out and support. I'm Chris with Sports. While we have been focused on plastic bags, that is not the only item that will be affected. Starbucks announced back in 2018 that in 2020 they would make a switch to using plastic-free straws. Which, uh, you asked the question, will Duncan do the same? <laughs> Wait and see. But one thing that we kind of forgot to talk about is why they're switching. So it says here on this paper that Americans use 100 billion plastic bags a year, which requires 12 million barrels of oil to manufacture. And at least 100,000 marine animals are killed by plastic bag annually. So they're making the switch so that it's much safer for the environment and that it has More less. Efficient. Yes, less better. So what? Starbucks is going to do is they're going to use paper straws or metal straws. Like Wegmans. Yes, and Wegmans is going to use, they're going to get rid of plastic and they're going to use paper. Wegmans already, I think, converted to paper straws. Yeah, they did. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's, it's just for a way to be safer about the environment. But um, with that being said, that's all the time that we have for you today. We hope that you enjoyed today's show, and hopefully you are prepared for when stores switch to plastic-free. Um.